My name is Samir Rahman from Name, and today I'll be covering vectors and equilibrium. And this topic can be found within pre-calculus. So what is vector equilibrium? Vector equilibrium is basically when uh, the sum of all the vectors add up to just zero. The equilibrium is the final vector needed to find the to place all the vectors in equilibrium. Today we will be determining how to calculate this equilibrium to place all of our vectors in perfect equilibrium. So to break everything down, let's say you have two vectors, f1 and f2, and you need to find the direction and magnitude of the equilibrium in order to place all of your vectors in perfect equilibrium. Well, that is exactly what I'll be showing you guys how to do today. So before we get into the calculations, how can this be applied to our daily life? Well, equilibrium of vectors can be found in, for example, traffic lights. As you can see in the image, all of the um, cables are in perfect balance in order to make the traffic light stand perfectly upright. Now, this is just a really basic example, and equilibrium of vectors can be way more than just this. And not only can equilibrium of vectors be found in pre-calculus, but it can also be found in a large majority of physics. Now, let's get into the calculations on how to find equilibrium. Step 1. Find the resultant of the two vectors. Now, you may be asking, why do we need to find a resultant? Well, the equilibrium is a vector whose magnitude is the exact same size as the resultant. So the magnitude of both the equilibrium and the resultant are the exact same size. But there's a catch. However, the equilibrium points in the exact opposite direction of the resultant. So the equilibrium is basically 180 degrees away from the direction of the resultant. So let's apply everything that we learned into this example problem. What is the magnitude and direction of the equilibrium that will place vectors f1 and f2 into equilibrium? Vector f1 is 6 centimeters at 30 degrees, and vector f2 is 8 centimeters at 60 degrees from the west. Now let's apply step 1. Find the resultant of the two vectors. I'm going to be using the component method, and that includes finding the horizontal and vertical components. The horizontal component of f1 would be 6 cosine of 30, and the vertical component of f1 would be 6 sine of 30. The horizontal component of f2 would be 8 cosine of 120 degrees, and the vertical component of f2 would be 8 sine of 120 degrees. Now, you may be asking, why 120 degrees? Well, remember, we are doing all of this in standard trig. So now let's add both of our components up separately. If you do that, your horizontal components will come up to be 1.196, and your vertical components will come up to be 9.928. Now let's apply these numbers and get our magnitude. We are going to be finding our magnitude using the Pythagorean theorem. So we are going to be doing square root of 1.196 squared plus 9.928 squared. And this will give us a final um, result of 10 centimeters. Our magnitude of our resultant is 10 centimeters. On the direction, we're going to be doing 10 inverse of sine over cosine, so 10 inverse of 9.928 over 1.196. And this will give us a direction of 83.13 degrees. The direction of the resultant is 83.13 degrees. Now let's graph the resultant and see how it looks. We're going to be applying our rotation of 83.13 degrees and our magnitude of 10 centimeters. So now step two, obtaining the equilibrium from the resultant. So remember what I said last time, the magnitude stays the same as the resultant of for the equilibrium. So it's still going to be 10 centimeters. However, the direction of the equilibrium is the total opposite of the resultant. So applying what we know, let's calculate the direction of the equilibrium. So we are going to be doing our direction of our resultant, 83.13 degrees, plus of 120 to get the total opposite of that, which will give us 263.13 degrees. And finally, we have our final magnitude of our equilibrium, 10 centimeters, and our final direction of the equilibrium, 263.13 degrees. Let's graph this. This is how the equilibrium looks like when graphed. As you can see, we have our rotation of 263.13 degrees, and we have our magnitude of 10 centimeters. And as you can see, as I mentioned before, the equilibrium is exactly 180 degrees away from our resultant. 
So we finally have all of our vectors in perfect equilibrium. And our vectors in equilibrium are 6 centimeters at 30 degrees, 8 centimeters at 120 degrees, and 10 centimeters at 263.13 degrees. And there you guys have it. We are finally done with this problem and we got all of our vectors to be in equilibrium. I would like to give credit to PowerPoint because they helped me create and record this presentation. And PowerPoint is available on Mac, Microsoft Windows, iOS, Android, and through Web Access. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. And I hope that you guys learned something.